What's up? This is Show Captain. I say went to the way he'll do Doctor Who season nine, episode nine review. This episode of Doctor of a Doctor of Doctor Who felt like a very creepy first person shooter. But I'll explain why it's creepy later. But this episode of Doctor so who, like I said, it felt like a first person shooter, cause this, um, group of people, uh, had to go and, um, find out what, what exactly happened in this, uh, space station that is opening Neptune. Uh, plus also, to find this one guy who who is supposed to be the only survivor of the main crew on that uh, base station um, and his name is Russ Mewson but I'm just going to call him Ross because that's easier for me but Ross he made he makes the um, he made and makes the uh, Morpheus sleep pods. Plus, also, Ross is the main threat this week. He is the main threat. Plus, also, uh, the Morpheus sleep pods, what they do is pretty much it allows someone who gets, who gets in it uh, to actually sleep. Well, will get a full night's sleep but but it'll, but it only takes like a few minutes uh to a few seconds plus also the morpheus sleep um uh, uh, chambers they um they change your uh, uh body's chemicals so you don't have to uh sleep for a week, sometimes months. <laughs> because... <laughs> because as the holo... ...wham <laughs> that actually pops up, uh, Paul says as Ross says himself, you know, um... Uh, time is... Time, time is... Time is, you know... Money and the uh, plus the, the plus the more you sleep, the uh, less the, the, the less money you're making. Uh, plus also, humans do sleep one third of their life. Oh, way. So by so by being awake, uh, humans are being are will be able to be more productive. But the, uh, but the, but the Morpheus sleep chambers, because they do change the chemicals inside your body that will uh, allow you to not, to actually um, not need sleep for weeks, sometimes months, that's affecting the, um, that affects the, uh, the, uh, that dust or sand that you, Rub, rub, rub out of your eye every every single morning is affecting that. You know, so 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 for those of you watching, when you wake up every single morning, you rub your your eyes. You get that sand or dust out out of your eye. You definitely do see it, but it's not. You know, it looks like a piece of sand or something. Thing, or it looks like a piece of dust, so you don't really mind it. You just toss it, to, to toss it to the side. But imagine that piece of sand or dust. Then imagine that same piece of sand or dust, but but it's but it multiplies and it comes together to make a. Uh, to make a human size Sandman and then that's what's pretty much running around uh, 
this uh, base station. And there's uh, quite a few of these fan men that are running around this uh, base station. But there is a little cax. The Sandman are blind. They they, they 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 have no eyes. Plus, also, this is where the point of view um, comes in. Now, now I will say the only point of view we don't get is the uh, Doctor's point of view. Plus, also, uh, one of the clue that uh, came to the space station to to check out what actually happened. Uh, I'm a, you know, Chopra. Chopra and, and a doctor. Uh, plus also I think, plus also I think Ross. Um, you know, uh, we don't get their point of views, but I'll get to the, to the reason why Ross, well, why, why, the reason why we don't get Ross's point of view, um, later. But the reason why we don't get Chopra's is because he never used the um, the uh, Morpheus sleep chamber. Uh, plus, also we don't get uh, the Doctor's point of uh, point of um, a view because same thing. He never used the um, the actual Morpheus sleep 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 chamber. But the thing is. Law did by accident, and the second can that she went in there, we were able to see her point of view as well. Because the second that uh, that someone goes in there, uh, the uh, um. You know, uh, whatever they see becomes a actual video recording that actually shows up in the actual space station. Um, cause the sand that that usually uh, comes uh, that usually forms in your eye as I do sleep. Now has become self self a whale, self a whale sand. That's already weepy, you know, by itself. Because it's, because one is duck to who and damn it, um. But it's in your eye. It's in your eye, and <sighs> but there is a surefire way to stop all the sin, stop all the sin men um, permanently, and that is, and, and that was for the doctor to kind of crash. The space station into actual as into um, uh, Neptune by uh by by basically tying off the grav have sh shield because the grav shield was the only thing keeping the sand the sand men to uh, to uh, to uh, as actually uh, as actually to um together when when they're in zero gravity sup space plus also the gravity of a um, gravity of a um, of a um, um, Neptune which I have to assume is I guess uh, is I guess it's a lot because. Because the Sandmen do, of course, collapse when they're hit by the gravity as of a Neptune. Now, 
Now the reason why now the, the reason why we don't get Wasa's point of view as even though he is the maker of the um of the Morpheus um sleep um, chamber and even though we saw him in one uh when he first um when the crew and the doctor and a law was talking to find him is because he is a sand because he's a sand man himself plus plus as I said the sand men are blind so that's why so that's why we don't see his point of view because he has no point of view you know he's supposedly I'm a supposedly blind plus the uh, visual cortexes for the uh, Sandman they are all over the they're all over the place that's why sometimes uh, we don't get well we, we, we didn't get the first person point of view we actually got the third person point of view but it was from like from an actual actual corner you know it was from up top sometimes so so uh, so that's why he was able to, to know where every um a we um a we where every you know one was now now uh basically besides the doctor and I'm a Lala, the only the only uh, member of the world that actually came to this uh, space station to actually make it out alive was of course Nagata. She was the only one that actually made it out. A, the only one out of, the, out, of, out, of, out of that crew, besides Claw, besides Claw and the Doctor, to make it off of that space station in a one piece. So, so the so, so the space, so, a, so the space, so the station. Crashes to crashes to I'm a nep nep crashes to Neptune and the whole thing with the Sandman ends ends right there. It ends right there. But the fact that Ross was actually trying to actually make more Sandman with the Morphia Sleep Chamber and basically feeding humans to the Sandman, basically trying to um, pretty much trying to replace us, trying to re replace uh, humans with a, uh, you know, Sandman. You know, that's pretty damn <coughs> Weepy, but but the thing is, at the very last scene of the episode, when Ross rubs his eye, and it then 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 and that's when we find out that he's a Sandman too. His voice changes as as his whole body starts to collapse, and parts of his head are still there. He's talking. And he's laughing as he's dying. That's creepy. That is very, very creepy. And I am actually glad that there's no part two to this episode next week. Because, damn it. <laughs> um, but yeah. This was a very good episode of Doctor Who. Um, uh, plus also, 
before I actually forget, this this actual review marks my sixth my six hundredth video on YouTube. Now, yeah, six hundred you know videos. I I know some of you are gonna ask. Uh, well, uh, how did you manage six? 600 of videos. Well, I started my channel two plus years back, so I started uh, 2012. Two thousand and thirteen. Yeah, it was the beginning. It was the beginning of two thousand and thirteen. Um. Yeah, that I actually started making um uh, making um uh, videos, uh, but of course they were all about bleach for a for a long while. Then I found other actual series that I can actually. Love you. Plus, I also started the whole Gato love you thing, and it just went on from there. And this Doctor Who love you is my six hundredth video. So I'm, I'm so I'm actually really very happy I made six hundred videos. So next is six hundred and one. But yeah, um, the uh, yeah the waiting for this uh, episode of Doctor Who is um wait um that's all that's all I have to say for this actual video. Be sure to like, comment, sub, subscribe, share my channel with your friends. This is your captain. I say one, two, three. Signing out. Peace.